What's up everyone? We're back again at it again. Just gonna keep doing this again and again until I get that proficiency, that currency back. Getting that aerial gunnery back, getting those aerial maneuvers back until they are second nature. No idea if I'm broadcasting on Facebook right now. There's been a long list of technical issues, but I ran out of patience screwing with it. So I just said, go live. Best of luck to me. And uh, without further ado, moving on. The IL-2. Getting it done. And if I can manage to survive a couple of missions, then I will go on to 8v8s and all of that absolute circus craziness that is the 8v8 arena. But first we gotta survive 3, which I think at the end of my last stream yesterday I got one that I managed to actually live through. We're gonna do that again today. We are gonna make that happen. Levers, additional ammo, Bendix, no photo. And we're airborne. Trims. Neutral. Ugh, I really wish I knew why it was popping me so low in the cockpit every time. And we're at it, and we'll see what we get today. It looks pretty big. How much you wanna bet it's a multi-engine? Looks like a split tail? BF-110 maybe? Not sure. Taking it up and over and ah, I need to get that stream switched over to multi-chat when I got a moment. Once I kill him I'll go over because right now I can't see the chat on YouTube. This is going to black me out. I need to get the nose uphill. Speed down and now turn. There we go. Also probably noticed some adjustments have been made to the audio settings. It should be a lot easier to hear me today. Let's see if we can lead this guy. Ah, I couldn't quite get the nose out there. That's alright. We'll take it over. I'll actually take it up. Oh wow, his camo is good. He just disappeared. <laughs> All right, let's get on to him. Bloop, bloop. Yeah, this is perfect. So he's going to be super low. He's going to stall out. All right, easy, easy. Oh, yeah. He paid a price for that. Now I've got a moment to go and switch that to multi-stream. Multi-stream. Boop. Cool. There we go. Now I can actually see stuff. And see the chat. Get this nose uphill, uphill, uphill. What's my speed right now? Way too fast to pull G. Then you get this nose uphill a little bit. Get down to 200, 200. Looking for 200. And pull. And I'm not sure how much of his movements down there are voluntary. I'm going to go ahead and haul the engines back to continuous. Yeah, I think that's a death spiral, man. I put a lot of good cannon rounds into his tail. So the likelihood that he's got a stuck elevator pretty high. Yeah. See, that was a good decision on my part not to dump all this altitude. So now we're still at like seven, eight, nine thousand feet. I already feel so much more relaxed. It's been a stressful couple of days. I don't want to go into that. Second engine oil system failure. Uh, still got oil pressure for the moment. We'll see how long it lasts. I should have just gone into that head-to-head. -head. If he takes this into a vertical head-to-head, -head, I'll take it. Come on, stall it out and over. Yeah, I couldn't keep the nose up there. You know what? We'll take the two. Whoa! Okay, that right wing is <laughs> way more hurt than I thought it was. Uh, there he is. Oh, 
the good news is that damaged wing is going to give me a lot of good roll to the right. I just need to watch it. It doesn't get out of control. I'm going to be able to get gun sight on him. We're close. Check that oil pressure. Still good. It's not going to be good for long though. So usually what happens when it's an oil system damage is it means the oil reservoir is hit and it's leaking. It's definitely what the plume behind me looked like. Uh, if I see his belly I'll need to dive out of this. Yep. That's just too much damage in the left wing I think for me to get my full right going to the left here Cause this is full left rudder full left roll yeah I'm gonna have to scissors him let's get out of plane stay out of plane Ooh. that was a bad move by him okay let's pull these engines back we still got oil pressure. Yeah, so far so good. To the east, on our tail. Probably high. No, nope, no, nope, I need that. I'm, I've been just standing on the left rudder pedal this whole time. We are screwed up. There he is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hello to you, too. From Bolivia. Uh, started messing around in chat and I lost my target. Now, let's keep checking my six. He'll slot into me sooner or later. Uh, this is not good. Just keep looking up. Pretty safe to assume that he's above me. That's where I would want to be. Oh, oh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. That lets me check a couple degrees closer to the sun. I don't see him. Where, oh where? lost track of my Nazi. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Oop. Huh. Interesting. It's not letting me snap the camera onto him. Which makes me wonder if he's still around. Oil pressure is still holding. But anyway, like I was saying about the oil reservoir, Usually what happens is the oil reservoir is hit, so the oil pressure will hold just fine until it runs out of oil, and then it'll drop suddenly and the engine will start on fire shortly afterwards. So I just got to keep an eye on things. I thought it was pulling to the right because of the damaged engine, but then I saw that wing, which I guess since I've lost tally... could take a moment. Yeah. Hey, you can see right through the wing. Perfectly normal. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Well, let's see if the Bendix is reporting anything. No, nope. no information from my radio compass telling me which way is home. So, we will find ourselves somewhere to put this thing down. Keeping an eye on that oil pressure, keeping an eye on this oil temps as well for one of them to start climbing. Uh, we've also got some coolant leaks here. So that coolant also is probably, because 104 degrees is like the, the 
tippy top of what she can handle and things are starting to redline so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to engine 2 and we're gonna pull it back even more from where it is right now and we'll start to see those gauges diverge a little bit and this will keep some power coming from that engine and then I select the first engine I go ahead and put it at the end of the green arc as RPM, so 44 inches of manifold pressure and just shy of that 2500 RPM mark and that's the most the left engine can give me in continuous power. And there's a runway that I can use. What speed are we holding? About 150 now. So we're not going to use full flap. And I got a gear down there and I've got a gear down there. Where'd that runway go? There it is. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and land on 50% flap. I don't know what condition they're in. What's our speed holding at? 150. Now with the right engines already pulled down a little bit, I can just focus on getting the left engines pulled back power-wise as I need to like get my descent. There we go. And we'll try and hold 150 for speed and see if we can't nurse it back. That shouldn't be too bad. That's damage like this. You usually want to, uh, hey, Megan, what is up? And thank you. Making me feel myself a little bit. Yeah, but as we're bringing it in here, oh, wow, the flaps are almost untouched. There's one round went right to that right flap. Uh, did the the gear did come down okay though, so that's always good. My uh, my first podcast ever, you guys should check it out. I interviewed a friend of mine, Emmanuel, who's a lab partner in circuits. He's an electrical engineer, and he's from Nigeria. Flew the SR seventy one. Had a great conversation just about culture, being an international student. Lots of cool stuff got talked about, and of course my landing on that the right landing gear didn't come down. And so I had an emergency landing in an SR-71 for my first ever podcast. It was great. All right, so now we're going to go to both engines control. And now that I've got them unified, I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling them both back and get this speed down somewhere closer to like 130. I don't want to go too far below that because I need a lot of authority in order to stop it from just rolling over on me. And I'm not I'm seeing the descent rate that I like, but I'm not seeing the speed come down at all. Just crash. It's okay. <laughs> uh, that'd be too easy. Let's see if we can slow it down just a little bit more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we might even be able to get it coordinated here pretty soon. So far, still got extra aileron authority, too. Eh, yeah, this is going well. This is going well. Okay. Get easy on the brakes with my feet. I kind of wish I had a camera down there sometimes. Bring the flaps up, get more weight on the wheels. Kaboom. And go ahead and kill the fuel before something starts on fire. So, yeah, we got nailed pretty good. Oh. <sighs> Altogether, I don't think that counts as a success. We did not shoot down airplane number three. I don't think it's going to give us credit. I think it's only going to give us credit for one of them. Because the second one, I watched crash into the ground. Yeah, that's what I thought. One kill. And the third one, I saw him spawn in. And then I never saw him again. So we're going to change locations so that it gives us new planes to fight keep it interesting don't want to be doing the same old same old sooner or later I'm gonna run into a, a German jet fighter and that's gonna make things really nice and interesting God, that's gotta be a terrible day my grandfather told me a story about getting strafed by a German fighter once a 50 caliber bullet came through the glove box on his Amtrak and the tip pointing out 
So that was the closest he ever got to getting hit. And everything looks like cool. Ooh, ooh, how much fuel? Yikes. No. There we go. Alright. Alright. Eep, eep, eep. Frame rate. There we go. Much better start to things. Uh, let's get this into the vertical. Bring it up. Straighten out. Exchange speed for altitude. Speed for altitude. There we go. And I'm going to level out so I can hold this altitude for a second. And drop in. I want to be on his circle more than cutting across it. Perfect. This is perfect. So now I want to catch him while he's going up like this. Silly of him to do. Not yet. Oh, that rear gunner's going to pop me. There we go. And that is full stick deflection aft. And we're coming around. Oh my, we've almost got this locked up. Were those hits? Those were hits. Ooh. Those were definitely hits. I'm going to go ahead and pull the engines back. <sighs> Do some deep yoga breathing here. Is he going to go down? Debating right now whether or not he has control of his airplane. Because if he does, there's no reason to set myself up for failure with the next guy by chasing him. I'll see. He doesn't really seem to be able to make any turns uphill. He's still somewhat in control. I'm going to have to go finish him off. I think. reason to do a hard pull here. We'll just up and over at 0% throttle and that should get us slowed down nicely for him. Oh, come on nose. Keep going over. Keep going over. Keep <laughs> I didn't want to stall this out. Lose control. I don't know. Time to focus up. A fire. One fifty engine screaming. It's not cool to ignore people. I wasn't ignoring you. I'm still here for you. And trust me, you will get to see a crash tonight. I've gotten shot down every single time I've flown all week. Alright, let's see. Uh huh, uh huh. Big river, small river, delta, city, okay. Big river, city, 
There we go. Yeah, I'm at a huge disadvantage here. Uh, I'll probably get to see that crash soon because it's always these single engine guys that nail me. Jink, jink. <laughs> Run in a serpentine fashion. Wow. Wow, he just disappeared. I'm just going to keep it quiet. Oh, there he is. an altitude advantage, so we'll pull the engines back. Don't run the engines hard if you don't have to. Oh, shit. Shit! I have to run the engines hard. Up, 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 up. Yeah, he can't quite follow with me. There we go. And as of now, we're energy neutral. So now I keep it at 150, keep the engines firewalled, keep myself climbing, and I'll start building that advantage slowly but surely. Yeah, and that was him stalling out. That's why he fell back down. He reached zero airspeed. And from now on in, I climb faster than he does. Watch, he's going to try and bring it back up on me, maybe? I do not want to lose sight with him right now. These German planes are very hard to see, but he is fighting the way that I want to fight. This vertical fight here, this is pretty much exactly what I want. There we go. While we can. No, not quite. Oh. I don't usually play low speed chicken with these guys. There we go. I don't normally chop throttle, but that was a good time to do it because otherwise I would have flown out in front of him. Or I would have just spoiled the shot and then had to reset. And we're not going to freak out, though. There he is. Oh, wow, I hit him. So now I can give this a second. Let myself recover. Uh, hit damage his engine, but I don't know how much that would have done anything to his aerodynamics. Go ahead and back the engines off. Yo yo it over. My pilot's exhausted. Every time I pull the stick, he starts blacking out. And I'm starting. I'm getting losing cues. There we go. This is maintaining. No. We need to climb the hell out of here. Up, 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 up. Upstairs. Upstairs. Yep, that was a good defense. He just couldn't quite pull lead on me. Keep this nose up. Keep the nose up. Keep climbing. Uh, keep climbing. What do we do? We climb. That's how Americans fight. Alright, I'm going to commit to chasing... 
No, no, it was a trap. <laughs> it was a trap. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and roll in. Engine's back. And now we cash in this energy with the engines coast for a minute. I'm going to lose this altitude slowly. I'm going to stay in the turning circle with them. This is looking good. Of course, I start blacking out right when it starts looking good. Ah, whoa, I was way closer than I thought I was. Almost there. I think that killed the pilot. Please tell me that was the last one. Nope. Coming from over there by the city, I think. Cut that sun out. Yep, visual. He's right there. Well, this is bad news. Man, he is really hard to see. He must be nose on with me. There he is. I just need to survive his first run. Yeah. So there he goes. And now I can start climbing. And more or less it's going to be a game of chicken for a little bit. Because he's high energy right now. I'm not. Where are my engines at? I don't need them that low. There we go. Crap, that's a parachute. I just locked onto him like he was a target. Alright, so it looks like he's still going away from me. No, no, he's bringing it back. Defensive time. I'm in a weird spot right now. I'm actually so low energy compared to him. He's having trouble getting down to me. That's fine with me. Yeah, he's real low energy right now. I bet you if I put full, get it up to him, I might be able to get a shot here. <laughs> that was scary. That was very reckless. But it worked out. I'm normally a fan of head to heads with things that have a 30 mil in the nose prop. But this worked out okay. Start. Oh shit. I should not have given him. He should have taken that shot. That could have been it. I wonder how bad his engines hit. I'm going to start trying to out climb him. Just on regular mill power here. Up, 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 up. Yeah, he couldn't get the nose up. Couldn't get it up. That's a horrible problem to have. 
Oh yeah, look at that. He stalled out. I'm getting a lot of low energy cues here. Which is perfection. Yeah, this is just a matter of not making any mistakes and finish this up. And then I think I will have s done well, especially because I got two light fighters this time. And lately I've been getting like nothing but bombers. So it's nice that this victory is going to come for me uh, on the back of some actual threats. Come on, come on. Oh, that sucked. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, that was a dangerous situation for a moment. Yo-yo around with a rolling scissors. E Don't black out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Roll rate. At high dynamic pressures, came to the rescue again. God, I love the P-38. What a great airplane. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, he is messed up. Let's take a quick gander at what he looks like right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's hurt. Ooh, some heavy breathing from my pilot. I'm gonna go ahead and stay in lag. Uh, well, maybe not that far in lag. Jeez. Let's con continue climbing here. Just to help build geometry. He can turn pretty well. Pull it down and through, maybe? I don't know if I have the stamina to do this, like, physically. Build speed for a second. Let's just try and pull on him. Nope. Do not have the physical... St Wait, maybe. Ah, oh, okay. Hits. Inconsequential, but every hit counts. So he just chopped throttle. I'm going to chop throttle too. Dude can play at that game. Pretty sure he can fly slower than I can. I got this. Right, I just need to shoot straight for once. Hits. Fuselage just behind the engine. I don't think I got the pilot. Lag, 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 lag. Alright, now pull. Pull like we mean it. What's the coordinator say right now? We're coordinated. gun sight and lag for a little bit longer. There we go. Get lead. Engines. Here comes that P-38's exceptional turn rate. And exceptional G-loading. Hit him again. I'm going to have to pull off this before that happens. He's got a really good defensive spiral going. I can't quite seem to get to him. That's a little embarrassing. I'm just going to stay up here and wait for my pilot to stop breathing so hard. He's trying to get up to me right now. Now, one of those trails of smoke looked pretty green. German engines are liquid-cooled, so if he's 
If he's leaking coolant, then he's in a pretty bad spot. Because sooner or later that engine will overheat and stop working. There we go. Reversing that turn seemed to have helped. I don't think any of those connected. It's alright, we're both going uphill together. I'll wait for him to stall out. Full stick forward. Yep, there's his stall out. Yeah, he might not be able to recover from that. There we go. There he is. Ooh, ooh, we're blacking out. This is not good. I'm actually starting to put him into a firing position. I need to be a little bit more careful. Full left rudder. Keep it uphill. Keep it uphill. Keep it uphill. Alright, and let it swing on through now. Beep. And that was a... No, 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 no. I don't know if I'm... Yeah, that's not enough lead. Gosh darn it. I don't know if to pull the engines back or forward. Right, let's go ahead and just try and... Try and neutralize. I'm carrying a lot of extra energy here. Up, 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 up. Then turn on to him. Ooh, that was a bad decision. Boom. It had better give me that kill. Whew. Where there's a town, there's an airport. I thought there was a town. Oh. oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't feel like waiting. Let's get our sc let's get our scorecard. Ah, see if it gave us credit for all three, which it should have. It should have. Yes, two light, one medium. Okay, that is good news. That is very good news. So, here's what happens now. We're going to go back to Lapino. We're going to go to Autumn. Actually, we're going to go to Winter. Just to give our engines a little bit of extra. And we're going to go 8 P-38s. To do randoms or to do 109K4s? 109K4s are super, super dangerous. I don't know. What do you guys think? 109s guarantee a dangerous enemy. Randoms guarantee a who knows what's going to happen kind of time. Which is what I like. And we're going to take this down from 4,000 to 3,000, which is what we've been fighting at. The P38 prefers 4,000. It, it does better up there. Yeah. Let's check on the music real quick. I don't want this playlist to turn on this something weird. Yeah, we've got like another 30 minutes on this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll stick with what we got. And also, though, real quick, these things, 30% fuel. <laughs> Uh, that makes a big difference in everyone's performance. 
Oh, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and go with that. As a P-38, it carries about six hours of fuel, because it's designed to fly all the way from England to Europe. So we're doing these dogfights, we don't need to carry this much. Whereas, German fighters are scramble fighters. They're designed to work with radar. So their whole idea is they stay on the ground until the enemy comes to them. They have very short legs, so having them fly in 100% fuel is not unrealistic because 30% P-38 fuel and 100% BF-109 fuel is actually pretty close in endurance. And um, do I want the extra ammo? You know what? I haven't run out of ammo yet. I'm going to go ahead and not take it, but I am going to take the Bendix. Let's go. So this time... Uh-oh. Do I want to commit to this? No, I don't. Straight up? Nope. <laughs> so the time is still set to 7.30 in the morning, but winter in Siberia, um, 7.30 is, is before sunrise. So we're going to have to hit this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just make a slight... Oh, wow, 8. So let's go 9.30. An hour and a half. That should that should make it happen. Go through this. Killing trains. This picture brings up killing trains is really fun. I like killing trains. Get my paint job. And 30% fuel. Trims. Neutral. Alright. So what we've got here. As we've got... Four P-38s in my flight, four P-38s in the second flight, and then out in front of us, out there in the distance, there's eight German fighters, and we're spawning right in the teeth of each other, and it's kill or be killed. Let's go. E. been a while since so I've done an 8v8. This initial target selection is really, really important in determining your survival. I try and figure out who's locked on who. Alright, there's some people under my nose. I think they are on me. So we're just going to go ahead and Start building that altitude advantage. Looking around for anyone on my friends. Preventing allied casualties is important. I think this guy's my first mark. Alright. Committed offensive. That's true. Oh, oh. Check six. Yep, there's sure enough there's someone back there. Get off axis. There we go. There we go. Nope, nope. Off axis. Off axis. You want to be at like right angles with them. And then pull. Or even upside down if you can get upside down to them. Get this uphill. Oh. Not good. <sighs> Maybe we'll make it back. Maybe we won't. We are trucking. I got airframe flutter. Loss of vertical control. Is he still back there? Just pulled off. If I can pull up to him, I've got him. 
Oh yeah, this is what the P-38 loves to do right here. And now that we're low G, I can pull through and get on him. And then we've successfully turned it around. Yeah. And then we get it uphill. We keep it uphill. I should be able to go ahead and recover like this. Nope, nope, more. Do I want to turn into him? Yes, I do. And we just keep it going up. I can outclimb these guys. They're around. Not quite clear right now what the win-loss ratio is or how everyone's doing. My wingman's down there, so that's good news. I go ahead and try and get in onto this guy. And again, get it going uphill, 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 uphill. There we go. Alright. Alright. Check our mirror real quick. Mirror is clear. Boom! And that's how it happens, ladies and gentlemen. War is a cruel, cruel place. <laughs> Never even knew he was there. That's generally how it happens. Whew. Got one kill. I kind of wish it would give me a... Uh, a review of friendlies and whatnot. Like who got smashed and who didn't. Let's go ahead and let's give this one more go for the for the night and then I'll probably wrap up the stream there. If I well we'll see. Once I I love these eight V eights. Eight V eight it's never the same. Like you know, you'd think starting every engagement the exact same way that it would get boring and repetitive, but after the after that first turn, it's never the same. Okay. Here we go. And this time, let's keep the engines back a little bit and let's get aggressive from the very get go. Find someone and pull onto them. Yep. Smoke trail. Wow, that smoke trail. Lost him. There he is. Alright, that's a problem that needs attending to. Get our pips on him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh! Oh, hey, be nice to me, baby. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. There we go, there we go. Let the airflow build up. Where'd you see power? Let's get the nose up. Find 150 and start climbing back to safety. How bad's the damage? Uh, smoke both engines. Uh, I keep hitting I instead of the... Looks like everything's holding as far as the gauges go. Hello. Probably the next person that's going to try and shoot at me. That was not an, a commanded roll to the right. And that is as fast as I can roll to the left. What's the right wing look like? Eh, there's some major holes over there. Wait, am I missing an aileron? No. Okay, cool. Alright, let's try and get back into the fight. I see a 38 in trouble down here. He's got a wingman pair on him. Let's see if we can, uh, oh no, it's the reverse. There's a wingman pair on one German. Let's see if we can catch up to that guy that's spinning on it. Oh, no, he just jumped out. Okay, let's check our six. Our six is clear. There's stuff burning, falling. 
looks like a 38 shooting at someone. German, German. My wingman is rejoining me. Who's he shooting at? Uh, he's really hosing someone. Hold on to this altitude. Ooh. Look at this guy. He's just going the perfect heading. I'm sure hoping that shaking isn't one of my engines coming apart. News flash, it's one of my engines coming apart. Now this this all out speed chase right here is not to my advantage. So I get the nose up, trade speed for altitude. So that yeah, when that happens I can be pulling down. Come on. Going well. Going good. Yeah, we're energy neutral now. I don't know if I'll be able to... Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bring it back. Nope, time skydive. Whew. Whew, gotta love skydiving, eh? Not dead this time. We're improving. Little by little. Yes, bit by bit. Let's see. So, if I hit Shift F2 here, uh, now someone else died. We got one, two, three, three friendly planes airborne. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is not going well. <laughs> uh. Man, it's crazy to think like how skills vary when you're in and out of currency because a couple of months ago I was doing streams. I made ace in a flight on a stream, five kills against nothing but BF 109Ks like this. I mean, I and I've got some music videos and stuff that I've got to drop from that. That was amazing. <sighs> but with that, I am physically tired. <laughs> I am actually, factually, physically tired. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and cut the stream here. But thank you for those of you who came and hang out. Megan, thank you for stopping by. You are my number one fan, and I miss you. And next time I come to the east side, I really got to hit you up. We haven't hung out in forever, and that's a travesty. We're going to change that. All right, everyone. Much love to everyone. Peace out.